Official surveys show almost all miners know of the danger mercury poses to their personal health and to the environment. Time to turn your knowledge into action. Use gloves while handling mercury. Use respirators and retorts when burning mercury. Burn mercury in open air. Store retorts in well-ventilated rooms. Store mercury under water. Do not put mercury in sluice boxes. Do not put mercury in pits. Do not burn mercury in cooking areas. Minding while mining. Protect yourself and others. A message from the Guyana Geology and Mines Commission. In collaboration with the World Wildlife Fund, Guyana's. As you mine for gold, remember these safety tips. Keep pit slopes at less than 50 degrees or cut benches to prevent collapse. Do not undercut pit faces. Block off and mark unstable ground until it is fixed. Remove loose rock or soil where it poses a danger. As a mine manager, maintain equipment and facilities to ensure workers are not exposed to hazards. Provide workers with appropriate safety gear. Provide adequate information, instructions, and training to workers. Show by your own actions your commitment to safety. As a mine worker, wear protective gear. Fully comply with safety regulations. Warn other workers of danger and report dangerous situations. Avoid any action that could endanger others. Minding while mining. Protect yourself and others. A message from the Guyana Geology and Mines Commission. In collaboration with the World Wildlife Fund, Guyana's. Studies show that mercury does not trap all the gold in your black sands. Time to invest in secondary concentrators. What are secondary concentrators and how well do they work? Secondary concentrators are various devices used to upgrade the black sand collected by the sluice box. Common secondary concentrators include shaking and vibrating tables, spiral wheels, spiral chutes, centrifuges, and vortex bowls. Their main job is to separate the gold particles from the heavy black sands. Once separated at this stage, the gold can be burnt or smelted to remove any remaining impurities. Secondary concentrators come into play, therefore, after the mats in the sluice boxes have been washed to remove the black sand and gold particles. Concentrators range in prices from inexpensive devices such as the vortex bowl to the costly such as the shaking table. They are highly efficient at recovering even fine gold. Find out more about secondary concentrators today. For higher recovery, more profit, and less risk to health and environment. A message from the Ghana Geology and Mines Commission. In collaboration with the World Wildlife Fund, Guyana's.